very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohamed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,269.06 points, marking an increase of 5.42 points above last closing. The increase was in the commercial banks, investments, insurance, services, and industrial sectors. And investors traded mainly in the investment sector with 72% of total shares. 103 transactions included 5,655,000. 340 shares worth 826,034 Bahraini dinars. The investment and business development arm of National Oil and Gas Authority in Bahrain and Schmidt Helbron have inaugurated its new joint venture facility, Schmidt Logistics Bahrain. The $20 million facility, located in the Bahrain Logistics Zone, will create around 100 jobs. The Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, said the new facility will have a significant positive impact on the regional chemical and petrochemical industries and will facilitate faster and easier transportation of goods around the GCC. The new Lord Mayor of London said Britain must not get bogged down haggling over pennies in settling its Brexit divorce bill and focus instead on the big pounds that our trade deal with Europe would bring. He urged the government to increase its financial offer to Brussels to break the deadlock in negotiations over a new trade deal. Slow progress in the talks has unsettled many businesses and concern has been growing that Britain could crash out the world's biggest trading bloc without a deal. It's a balance between haggling now for the pennies versus the, the, the pounds in the future. And our strong encouragement is that we need to get over that, we need to agree a position and be able to, to move on. So that balance, we would encourage government uh, to reach a position now, reach it by Christmas so that we can move into the next phase. In terms of the certainty required, we, we, we come back down to a, a tr trade deal, the concept of mu mutual, mutual access, in terms of transition, an arrangement that provides for clarity, provides for confidence, uh, provides for, for, for certainty, so that business can stick with a plan A and slightly put plan, plan B on the, on the back, burn, back burner. And, in, and, and thirdly, around, uh, around talent, an agreement for and with regard to, the, to, to people is cre critical. The city is nothing without its people. European Commission President Jean-Claude Juncker said it would be seen in the next few days whether Brexit talks with Britain has made progress to enter a second phase of negotiations. He said the EU would see whether it can move forward when he meets with British Prime Minister Theresa May on December 4th. He met with Swiss President to discuss clinching a new treaty supposed to cement ties between the two countries. Politicians in Switzerland hope Britain's divorce talks with Brussels may open new avenues for bilateral ties. A statistical analysis on the consequences of the Brexit vote in the UK showed how the referendum outcome has affected inflation and living standards of people across the country. The report, titled The Brexit Vote, Inflation and UK Living Standards, was issued by the Centre for Economic Performance under London School of Economics and Political Science. Researchers spent about nine months analysing related statistics and evaluating the referendum's influence on inflation, change in wages and other aspects. Affected by the referendum, inflation rates in the UK rose faster than in the Eurozone and the United States over the past year. Devaluation of the pound, imports of goods, and rising prices of raw materials have all pushed up inflation. According to the report, the Brexit vote cost the average household extra £404 per year, and the impact of the referendum is equivalent to a £448 cut in annual pay for the average worker, almost one week's wages for the average worker, due to increased prices.